It was key from, uh, for us from the beginning on to have the exception, to get the exceptional loan of the vintage vase from San Francisco. Four meter high and three tons uh, uh, heavy. It was of course uh, quite demanding. We have to uh, acknowledge the fact that it moved for the first time since 1895. So thanks to the fact that we are working in a great building, I was particularly amazed by the fact that it was not that difficult to bring it here. It took three days. It was a little bit longer than expected because it was very, for uh, two days it was only horizontal and to bring it on the vertical uh, was, uh, uh, took one day, so it, uh, uh, it took three days. It was not that difficult to bring it from the vaults up to the exhibition space, but to, to install it properly uh, in the exhibition space, it, it took the three first days of uh, the installations. It was amazing. Uh, also because the perception, of course, here of the work is very different than it is uh, outside in a park. In the Golden Gate Park, it has the status of a monument, really. Uh, and here, it's a real work of art. It's, a, it's very different. Of course, uh, Gustave Doré is an illustrator and that uh, literary imagination is key for him and for his inspiration. But uh, the literary imagination doesn't end with the publication of a book. The very first source of the vintage vase is the divine bottle of Rabelais in Gargantua in Pantagruel. After that, it becomes something else. It becomes a, a, a monument in the World Fair of 1878, a monument to French winery and to French wine. Despite the fact that a lot of critics at that time noticed that uh, the form of the bottle is not that much a French bottle, but more an Italian bottle. This work tells us the story of wine. So uh, from, the, uh, from the fight against the parasites on the very bottom, and at that time, of course, in the second part of the 19th century, uh, the people uh, working in wineries and didn't have yet, uh, let's say, chemical weapons to uh, fight against mosquitoes and parasites. It had to be done by hand, and that's the duty you, you see from the putti who are fighting against amazing spiders, for example, or amazing rats, or, or, or monumental mosquitoes. Uh, and then, in, on the second level, it's also about uh, the way wine is done, and we see uh, putties who are uh, grasping raisin in order to, to, uh, to make wine. But of course, it's not only about wine, but it's also about the effect of wine. At the very top, uh, we have a kind of bacchanal and of triumph of the, uh, the, uh, the wine and of the effect of wine and particularly the erotic effect of wine because we now know since Latin literature and like uh, since Terence in particular that love in order to be entertained and cultivated needs good food and over most good wine. And this is a, a particular statement, uh, a, a, a very evident statement uh, for this.